Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it from here. Okay. Thanks, Ipe. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a busy time for us, Commissioner. Otherwise, you can be sure that we would have prepared a more extravagant reception. I don't mean to impose, Sir Cujo. In fact, I'm not here on official business at all. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Given the close ties between our clans, it seemed only right that I should come and offer the Kamisato clan's congratulations in person. I'm truly honored. I hope the news didn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well! Since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in the Tenryo Commission have slowly started to stabilize. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of the clan. I just hope I'm up to the task, so I can live up to everyone's expectations. You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hardworking, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing, and I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> well, you're certainly making big progress in that department! <laughs> Come on now, you're embarrassing me. Uh, pardon me, I... um... It's perfectly alright. Please, continue. I'm quite content to listen. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know, what's your honest opinion on the whole thing? Do you think it's... too sudden? <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people will offer you a... a colorful variety of opinions. But of course... You will have factored this into your decision, and I'm sure you are prepared for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Indeed I am. So, please be confident. When your mind is made up, you ought not be worried about things for which you are already well prepared. Nevertheless, there is just one small aspect of this that puzzles me a little. Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. This is positive, and no doubt the beginning of important change. But on the other side of this equation, Lady Hiragi's father, Hiragi Shinsuke, is still in prison. If you choose now, of all moments, to announce a marriage between the Hiragi and Kujo clans, the kinds of rumors that may begin to spread both among the general public and in the Kanjo Commission are not likely to be in either of your best interests. Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kamisato. This has been my biggest concern for quite a while now. Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. In the past, we've always had to communicate in secret, by sending letters. So although now may not look like the best timing for this marriage, it may well be the only opportunity we have. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he acts like this sweet old man, but he was determined to make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst! I can see where you're coming from. But you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. 
yes. I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her in spite of everything, how can I disappoint her? Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. Ah, so coy. Huh? Really? She didn't say. She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Oh. Anyway, as her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending, so I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter, and then I proposed. After making some disgruntled noises about me making a stupid joke, she blushed and said yes. We spent that afternoon working through all the details of the wedding. Okay. So you discussed it and decided on a date? We did. I guess it was a chance to finally express our commitment to one another, clearly and completely. And you know what? I think it was about time. No matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the one person she can always rely on. Oh, give me a break! Sorry, but Byron's been wanting to say this the whole time. Is it just this dude, or does everyone in love act like this? He just won't stop talking! Uh. Apologies, my friends. And also to Sir Kamisato. I must sound like a fool. Far from it. On the contrary, seeing you so positively smitten puts my mind at rest. No surer evidence could there be of your true feelings and your commitment. If I had any reservations before, I certainly don't now. I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. All smug like this, it's still a happy occasion. Good luck on the day, and have a happy wedding! Thank you all. It means a lot. We have some other business to attend to now. Until next time. Very well. I'll see you out. <laughs> 